Well, Geraldo, I'll start this interview the same way we did with Sam and give you an opportunity to say thank you to Kidderminster because I know they gave you a fantastic opportunity and a great platform to perform as well as you did last year. Yeah, of course. I enjoy my time there. Kind of thank the gaffer, staff, the players and the fans as well. Everyone has, has been amazing there. I've just, obviously it was, it was time to move on, but I thank them for, for the whole year that I was there. I uh, kind of appreciate them. In terms of going to a club and wanting a platform to express yourself, you couldn't have really picked for a better one than Kidderminster last year, reaching obviously the fourth round of the FA Cup on TV, um, playing lots and lots of games, being involved in a playoff campaign as well. Surely it's exactly what you were after. 100%. Uh, I was just a bit gutted we didn't get them promoted. Uh, it would have been good too, but obviously the FA, uh, FA Cup run was very good. Uh, TV coverage, the fans that we were setting out the stadium, uh, it was just good. I, f I feel like we put Kidderminster on the map and, and the players put themselves on the map again, so overall it's good. But as I said, just got it. We couldn't get them promoted. New chapter starts right here, right now at Meadow Lane. You've, I believe you came here about two weeks ago, didn't you, for an initial look around and to meet a few of the staff. You're back here again today. Just how does it feel to be here as a Knotts player? Yeah, it's just good to finally get it uh, over and done with, to be fair. Uh, obviously, <laughs> the facilities are great. I think that's a standard. I think every, everyone that comes here will tell you that. Uh, I obviously had a few meetings with the gaffer as well uh, over Zoom and met him in person today so he's got good plans and I have total belief in uh, what he's going to do this season. Yeah I've just seen you having a chat with the gaffer there I think he was showing you some clips wasn't he he's, he seems to have a real handle on how he wants to play and obviously the philosophy uh, that the club's had uh, over the last few seasons has very much been defenders to be comfortable on the ball happy to bring the ball out of defence sounds like you meet the criteria on both of those fronts? Yeah, of course, he's very uh, very detailed in his work uh, from what I've seen and what, what he's, he said to me. And he wants us to be aggressive, play up the pitch, uh, as he said, be comfortable on the ball. But it, it seems like he knows what he's doing. Decent range of passing on you from what I've read? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I think it's one of my, my strengths, to be fair. Not too bad at it. Mm. Played with the back three last season, obviously it, it remains to be seen what system Luke Williams goes with this year, but do you feel comfortable pretty much in any sort of central defensive role, would you say? Yeah, of course. I don't mind. Whatever the gaffer needs me to, I'll, I'll be there and give my best in whatever position I need to play. Last year at Kidderminster, I played in, in central midfield a few games, seven, eight games, and I like to feel like I've done a good enough job. Uh, so wherever the gaffer needs me to play, I'll, I'll be ready. I think the midfield thing's a really interesting point because that versatility is such a valuable commodity in, in modern football. How did you find that? Was it your first taste of playing in midfield and is it something that you'd like to do more of in your career? Yeah, it was when I was younger, I was in midfield initially and then I got transferred into a like, centre-back role once a few players got injured and I kind of stuck to it. Uh, I kind of really came well from the back and a bit more time on the board, I'd say. Uh, it was good last season, I just needed to get a bit more used to having maybe less time on the ball, checking your shoulders more often, just little things and getting used to it. But I'm sure that if I, if I do play there again, I can get used to it very quickly. Clearly a very good technical player um, but as you well know the non-league scene in, in English football is a tough school how much do you like a battle as well yeah I don't mind it man I learnt it quick uh, last season on my debut I dislocated two of my fingers really against Blythe Spartans about 25 minutes in you know at half time and the gaffer said welcome to non-league football mate and <laughs> I knew that was my wake-up call but you enjoy enjoy tussle at a corner tussle at a free kick getting your head in where it hurts yeah I don't mind it man it's part of the game you know I mean you need to do it uh, I'm a defender <laughs> like four more so I need to stop the ball going into the goal. Now I'm sorry to ask you this but your two appearances against Gateshead last season saw one of our fellow new signings Macaulay Langstaff score a total of four goals across two games. Can you give us the inside scoop on what sort of a signing we've got on our hands there? You know I'm just glad I'm playing with him. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Uh, he, he's a good player to be fair and uh, Kedwin Scott as well. They had a good team to be fair Gateshead and like I said the two players there I think they were there. They're standout players for me, sharp, runs in behind, gave me a bit of a run around to be fair to him, so fair play to him, he's a, he's a very good player. Speaking of very good players, Sam Austin, uh, another man that you know incredibly well, you even arrived here together with him in the car today, what sort of player are we getting with him? Sam, he's, he's a good boy, hard worker, ask anyone at Kidderminster, he just graphs, I don't know how much he runs in a game, he just keeps on running, 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 landing on seconds, he does both sides, he's gritty, he works hard at He's a fantastic uh, addition to the team. Scores and assists as well, doesn't he? Sharp shooter, ball footed, uh, left foot, right foot. So that's a defender's nightmare. Usually when you know someone's one footed, 
you show them on the other side or but with Sammy you never know absolutely uh, it's going to be a title charge no matter what this season that's the expectation that's going to be on, on you as players on, on the head coach and everybody at the club to, to try and get this club back into the football league how much are you relishing that expectation that pressure that's going to be on you this this season there, there is pressure obviously everyone everyone knows uh, it's a big club we're in the non-league obviously we need to do our best to get out of here uh, but I feel like with the signings that the club have made I can't see what, why not obviously other teams have strengthened as well but It'll be tough, tough to get out of. I saw that last year in, my, in our league, so it's a, it's a big ass, but I don't see why we can't do it. You're obviously a young player, you've, but you have got captaincy experience from youth levels at, at Birmingham City. Do you see leadership and, and being able to help on that front as, as a big part of your game as well? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think like growing up, uh, I've always been kind of a leader. It's kind of been like natural, uh, but on the pitch, I'm, I'm a talker and I try to to lead by example. I think that's that's what I say is one of my strengths, leading by example.